welcome to the vlog. Just about to do an interview, which I'm a wee bit nervous for. But it's gonna be fine. Get through coffee. Same thing every morning. Nearly every morning. I don't eat grapefruit every single morning. Hello, I've just woke up. Quite is it late? Yes. I'm trying to get be to bed earlier, but I'm I'm actually really excited. So I think I have SED. I think I'm hugely affected by the change in weather. Because when you look it up, I mean, I think everyone is, honestly. Unless, like, I had a couple of people message me saying, I love the rain. I love gloomy days. I actually, I'm really happy for you because I can't stand it. I just really struggle waking up in the morning. I cannot get up before nine o'clock. There's no way. Uh, I even remember when I was young and when I would work, obviously, when I, when I had a job that I had to get up and go to, I would really struggle in winter. I was late quite a lot and I would just really struggle getting up. So I bought an SED lamp, which is going to be getting here tomorrow. And we actually have an alarm clock that slowly mimics the sunrise. So I'm just going to put loads of light in the house because actually that I think that's I think that's what's wrong with me. I'm not getting enough natural daylight because even today I've woke up and it's brighter and I'm like, oh, that's better. So maybe it's just as simple as that. I put on my Instagram stories yesterday asking if anyone else was affected by the seasons, which is stupid because I knew that people would say yes, but I just wanted to know how many of us, and it's over 90% are like, yeah, can't stand on air. Cannot get up, feel no motivation, terrible sleeps, but when I do fall asleep, I can't wake up in the morning. So let's all combat that together, shall we? I actually, I took a sleeping tablet last night because I thought it would make me sleep faster. It didn't. It just made my sleep really good, but then I couldn't wake up this morning. The last time I talked to you, I was having an interview. I did my interview. It was really cool. It wasn't scary at all. I need to stop saying that it was scary. It's not scary. I just get a bit nervous. I don't think I'm allowed to say what it is yet, but I'll keep an eye out if it comes out before the end of the week, then I'll tell you. I spent a whole of Monday and Tuesday on Zoom calls for Vive, which is great. But what we've started doing is we've got Vive work scheduled into my diary and then like today and tomorrow are Jamie days. Jack, I think, thought that, that meant self-care days and he was like, oh my God, what's a Jamie day? And I was like, no, it just means I get all my other work done. So I'm actually really excited because I feel like I've not managed to get anything done. I've got to do a few bits today. I've got a video to film with my partnership with NARS. I have a bit of the vlog to film this week because we've got a little sponsor for the vlog this week. It's very exciting. I love it. I love being busy. I love being busy and I love my jobs. But when the weather is that miserable for that long, I start just getting so tired. And I was just like, yesterday night, I was like, I'm, I'm done in. I need to go to my bed. It's tricky, man. I'll let you know when my SED lamp arrives and I'll just tell you if it works. Mm. There's obviously something very interesting in that one. Drubber, what are you doing? Gina was there. <laughs> what is in here that smells so nice? Ah, oh, <laughs> an explosion! Drop it back. Holy moly, what is going on in here? Drop it! <laughs> Fucking cheese everywhere. What the hell? Cool. Oh no. What has happened? Oh my god, that's so weird. Feel it. Like, what a shame. Uh oh. Uh oh! <laughs> Look at this. Corporate business. Wall Street. Do you like it? I love it. I don't even have any eyelashes on. I might actually add some though. I do feel like a lash today. I just finished filming this week's video, which I really like. Well, I've not seen it yet. I've not seen it yet, but I think it's going to be quite good. I've got a bit of a list of stuff to do today, like I said earlier, but I'm going to get it done. It's going to be fine. And once I get it done, it means that tomorrow I can have a tiny bit more of a relaxing day. I feel like I need space in my brain at the moment. Does anyone else feel like that? And I really want to get outside when it's dry. I feel like I've been cooped up in the house forever. We're in lockdown. Uh, we're in tier four in Scotland. We've got different tiers um, and we're in tier four, which is the strictest one. So we can't actually do anything, but we can, we can go outside in our council area. So I feel like I just want to get out and about a wee tiny bit. I might get like changed and go out and, you know, wear real clothes and, you know, go outside. Crazy talk. 
on a Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dude. Wow. And then I've got a meeting at four that I completely forgot about. I didn't think I had any meetings today, but it's just not the case. Since launch, I've had. I feel like I've not had much time to like do my <laughs> take my pictures and stuff. So I posted a picture of me on Zoom, and someone was like, "I feel like you live on Zoom." I feel like I also live on Zoom. I'm really missing people. It would be really nice not to have to just work online all the time. I miss. I miss meetings. I miss. I miss London. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, it's been a while but since I wore lashes. I think that lashes change the game. I'm always really scared in case I'm not muted. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Am I the first one here? No. <laughs> now I'm joining GHD for the virtual event. I just actually posted an IGTV that I did for them um, with my new fun straightener trick. Can everyone hear me? No, I'm muted, it's fine. Um, Today's just been a day. I feel like a lot of people are feeling the same way, but um, I'm excited because we're talking to an astrologer, uh, the Vogue astrologer, and she does horoscopes as well, which is really cool. And we are going to be talking about the new collection, which I have put somebody else for it here. So we're talking about the new collection, um, and it's going to be great. And then I literally just saw it was like, like dress up. And I wasn't dressed up, so I just put my blazer back on. I've been changed three times today. Uh, I've got a wee drink, which is really sweet. They sent this over. And they also named a star after me, which is the coolest thing ever. The new Helios, so chic, so cool. And then we've got the new Platinum Plus as well. These two tools. So I used these in my last IGTV. They're so gorgeous, such great gifts. Uh, if someone's needing some hair tools, some hair stuff, they are just the best. But I'm excited, look, I can see. Everyone starting to join, like I'm secret, and that's me. Can't even tell I'm here, but I'm a wee bit early, so I'm just kind of getting set up. Oh my god, it's time, it's time for me to join. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs> Jack's needing to go out in the car is completely frozen, but it's actually my favourite kind of weather. We finally have some sunshine. It's freezing cold, but at least it's sunny, and I actually love it. I love this weather so much. So today's absolutely gorgeous. I've got a list of stuff to do, but me and Jack are going to go for a nice walk today. We're going to leave the dogs at home just because they've been on their big walk this morning already, and I just wanted some time out the house, just me and Jack. It's been a while. I'm really excited. I'm going to take it easier today, get my stuff done, but today's a quieter day um, so I'm really gonna lean into that and it's gonna be great. My SED light should come today. I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna make a big difference for the days that aren't so sunny which is a lot but I'll let you know. I'll let you know what, what I got and, how, and if I think it's good and stuff. Who is she? A glowing angel? Look at this light. I have some new bits to try on. I ordered clothes from Tala. I'm going to try them on and tell you what I think. They've got a new type of legging that's meant to be the best legging in the world. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll try them on and, and tell you what I think right now. I'm not going to film me trying them on because I'm shy, but I'll show you what I'll look like in them after. Really nice, really nice quality. I don't think this is for tall people. Uh, the models on the website were five foot eight and those two inches really do make a difference because I feel like this tops a medium. It fits me around the boobs, but it's too big for me around my ribs and then the leggings are great but I prefer them to be a wee bit higher waisted and a tiny bit longer. They are nice, I'll definitely still wear them. But yeah, I'm not sure about this. Okay, this one I like. Nice, really flattering. I think I need to take the cups out. I am a 30, sorry I'm trying to see the best way to show you, maybe this one. I'm a 32 double D and this is a medium and it fits me really well. It's, <laughs> it's supportive, which I like. Uh, I can see those shoulders. Sometimes shoulders like this give me back pain. Yeah, I think I'll keep the leggings and I'll keep this, the, this sports bra, but the other top, I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, that's nice. Really nice. Let me take the cups out and see what I think. Oh, oh yeah, that's much better. I feel less um, busty. Really like the back. It's in here with the lights better. I like that top a lot. And with the leggings, I don't mind that they're too short. Uh, leggings are usually too short on me, to be fair. And the leggings, they do really fit nice and there's no... Can you see through them? No, I don't think so. I just hiked these right up and I pulled them even shorter on my ankles and I actually like them even better. I think they fit now. I feel like I'm like some kind of 
get fit person. He's coming over. <laughs> oh. We didn't even have to see him. I know, he's just always waiting at the fence. Hi. He's trying to find the right path. Uh -huh. <laughs> coming to say hello, look. Look, here comes his mate. <laughs> Think it's a boy or a girl? I don't know. Hi. Hi, yeah. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Hi yeah. Oh, he's big. Hi, yeah. How friendly is that? Oh, wow. I wish we had something to give him carrots. I know. Should have brought some we don't sugar. Have any, we don't have any carrots for man. Oh. I'll come back next time. He looks quite young when you look in the eyes. Yeah, he's young. Hello. I'm delighted to say that this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Garnier. So Garnier do some of my favourite sheet masks. I am absolutely obsessed with the vitamin C ones and I really, really love the moisture balm that's got pomegranate extract. I think that these make for really, really nice stocking stuffers. I think they make for great secret Santas. Something that's really nice is just to look after ourselves and take a little 15 minutes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm very excited. This is one of the kit, look how cute is that? Mary mask miss. Uh, so this is one of the kits that's got five masks in it. It's such a great price. I'm actually gonna keep this and give it to somebody because uh, I have here individual masks. Each sheet mask is infused with a whole bottle of serum. This one in particular is really good for dehydrated skin, great for this time of year. And I'm actually gonna do my makeup later, so it's gonna provide a really nice, gorgeous, hydrated base. And you just put it on dry skin, dry clean skin. This one's infused with hyaluronic acid as well, which is just so brilliant for getting that hydration in the skin. You pop it on, leave it for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna finally do some Christmas shopping. I started getting that panic. I've really not done anything yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my mask on, pop the Christmas tree on, and I'm gonna sit on the couch with my laptop and do a little bit of Christmas shopping and even just like map out what, what my plan is this year. So let's get this mask on. We're ready. Oh, that feels so nice already. It's super saturated, but it's not drippy. It's not gonna leave a big mess. Right, I'm gonna leave a wee timer. There we go, 15 minute timer. Go turn my phone off. And let's go and do some Christmas shopping. did it in silence. I feel very zen. We are fully cooked. Oh, oh dewy. Fresh. My face is nice and cool. And then you just rub the serum in and bring it down my neck. Look at that. So fresh. I actually feel like I've just given my skin a big glass of water. That was a little bit of a tutorial. A tutorial on how to use a sheet mask. Thank you so much Garnier for partnering with me on that little portion of the vlog. I'll make sure that I link that down below. I feel like I just want to go back and sit on the couch and finish my shopping. Cleaned up my desk so I can put all my goodies out for Kiel's Thanksgiving. So it's actually really fun doing Zoom events at home, uh, but I am definitely starting to miss going to actual events now. Uh, but we've got some really lovely little treats to snack on, some nice Kiehl's products. We're doing a quiz tonight, so it's gonna be really good. I have the mocktail that they sent across because I can't drink tequila. I've got a wee glass of red wine. It's gonna be lovely. I'm also joining in this because I'm really cold and it's comfortable. Right, okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna put my name in. Hi, Jamie. Hello. Hey, how have you been? I'm good, I'm good. Thanksgiving is a very special moment for Kios as it's a time for us to reflect and say thank you. Al Turner, this is absolutely who, hilarious. what do you think this meme symbolizes about 2020? Who is this icon? This is Karen. Hello, Karen. <laughs> do you think it's, it could be Karen, darling, or it could be Victoria Beckham's very dodgy, 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 like, cousin from, like, the back of me on. Oh, I'm wearing a so good. Hello. I'm not having a good time with my fringe this time round. Jack ran a half, is it a half marathon today? We won't run that. 26k. That's crazy, that's crazy. Yeah, that was a good one. So Jack went and did that this morning. Mm -hmm. And he phoned me from Tesco saying, do you want to have fillet steak and chips for lunch? I was like, eh, yeah, yeah I do. So Jack mm. just cooked steak and chips for our lunch and it's honestly, oh my God, perfect. Not bad, eh? What a treat. That's a winner. I can't believe it. Up there with Midnight McDonald's, what a crazy thing to do for lunch. 
Steak. For anyone who likes steak, try it with Nando's Perinese that you can buy at the supermarket, or obviously Nando's. Is it really good? It's amazing. I just like mayonnaise. I just like mm. normal mayonnaise. Steak and chips and mayonnaise. Close your eyes and you could be back in Paris. Good morning. It's Sunday. I woke up and went down to Marks and Spencer's because Jamie Page posted a picture of her bagel and I really wanted it. So I went down to Marks and Spencer's and I picked up some stuff. I have not had this in a really long time. Uh, I usually only have it when I'm in hotels actually, but I got bagels, smoked salmon, the best cream cheese on the planet. Pace in Breton. If you see this in the shops, uh, Philadelphia is a thing of the past. Well, it's expensive though, but it's really, really nice. And I have my smoked salmon, my tomatoes, and my onion. So that's what I'm gonna have. Jack doesn't eat fish, he hates fish. So I got him some bacon. So I'm gonna make him a bagel with cream cheese and bacon, and I'm gonna have my salmon. And it's gonna be great. There's one thing we're not great at in this house is um, taking the time to prepare nice food. I feel like quite a lot of the time we just eat the same thing or it's quite boring. So this will be a really nice breakfast. And then I actually got, oh my God, do you know it's being <laughs> dragged across the floor? Are you okay? <laughs> and for dinner tonight I got stuff for a little bit of a roast dinner so we've got nice chicken, parsnips, roast potatoes and I just never do that, we never do that uh, but I, get, I always get really jealous, it's one thing that I've found lately I feel like if people are in lockdown and they're cooking a lot more, I can't cook so I find myself on Instagram being like getting the worst food envy ever so I decided to do something about it today so we're going to have this as our kind of brunch and then we've got a roast dinner for later. It's gonna be lovely. Let's do it. The only thing about this is you can't really do two people at once with one toaster. Good set. I was mad. Right, enjoy. Thanks. Look, it's like a really rubbish version of what Jamie had yesterday, but I'm working on it. Let's do a taste test, Jack. Mm. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Mm. Time for Jamie's three faves of the week. I have a face mask on. I've got a wee bit of a busy day today, so I just thought I'm gonna I'm gonna multitask. I'm gonna self-care at the same time as we're working. We move. First fave is a candle. I was sent this. I got a very exciting PR package uh, from Maison Francis Kurdjikan. Can't say it, I'm really sorry. Back it at. This perfume is so popular. I posted it on my Instagram stories and I've never had so many people say, oh my God, that's my favorite perfume. Oh my God, it's absolutely beautiful. And at the same time, they sent this candle. Not only is it gorgeous and festive, it smells like a rich forest. Pine needles, vanilla, and bonfire, a, a tiny touch of bonfire in there. It is the most beautiful winter candle. It's a little bit fresher than the candles that I usually burn, but I had it lit in the living room and I went into the living room to watch a film and the scent had filled the whole room after like 10 minutes. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm like, I'm quite stressed. I need to go and see if this is limited edition or not because I need to stock up. I'm pretty obsessed. Next thing is my daylight. My daylight. My daylight lamp, my SED, my sad light, my SED light, SED. This right here, let me just turn it around. You won't even be able to tell. Look at that, it's like the moon. It arrived a few days ago. Oh, I haven't even used it. Sorry, I'm taking a deep breath because it actually makes you feel like, oh. I've not used it a huge amount quite yet because it's been kind of sunny outside. Of course, I buy an SED light and then the sun comes out, but it's been a wee bit brighter so I've not felt quite as gloomy, but today is dark and usually my office can get quite dark as well. And it's great because I've just got it on in the background and what you're meant to do is sit about 20 centimetres away, so that's quite close, just with your eyes closed or you can read a book or you can write. You can do your emails, you can work, you can do your makeup at the same time. Um, it's obviously a really gorgeous light as well. It's like a nice light that comes off it. It is very bright and I like it because it plugs in. There was some on Amazon that had batteries and I was like, I don't want it, that's so wasteful. I'd rather just be able to plug it in. But I really like it so far and I can totally see 
how this would benefit. Like it, it is like a huge bright light and see when you're close to it and you've got your eyes closed, it's like you're outside and you've got your eyes closed. It's, it's really quite cool. So I'm really liking that. And then the last thing, I've had this for a few weeks now. It's expensive. I bought it on Cult Beauty, but I um, I think working from home, everyone's the same. I get really sore shoulders and I kind of hold my neck like this and then I end up with these headaches that don't really go away. And this was recommended to me. This is the Theragun, right? I got this one, which is £350. You don't need to get this one. There's two options that are cheaper, but basically you turn it on, look at that. So I turn it down and it's got this ergonomic handle so I can do it myself, but Jack helps me sometimes. And I literally just use it. Oh, I use it like this. And I can't tell you how much it's helping me. Oh my goodness. So I use it mostly on my shoulders, you know, and then up into my trap. I think Jack calls it my traps, but it's basically like up here next to my neck. You just need to be careful you don't go on your spine. You need to be quite careful with it. Like you can, you could hurt yourself with this thing. See if I feel a headache coming on or I can feel my back starting to feel really tight and sore. See if I use this for like five minutes, it's gone. The pain is gone. <sighs> Immediately, see with this in my light. I could be in Thailand getting a massage. I did a lot of research on this before I bought it because it is so expensive, but I really do think it has the same benefits for me that I feel after I go for a 45 minute massage that costs how much? Like 50 quid, 70 quid a time. So really, if you add it up, and this is gonna last you a really long time. And yeah, I can do it myself or if you've got someone that's, that's happy to help, it's really great and the relief after, oh my God, it does just feel like someone's given my shoulders a really good massage. So those are my three favorite things. Kind of weird this week, but um, you, you got a little bit of self-care in there and you got a little bit of home scenting. So you guys, thanks for hanging out. This week was a wee bit uh, tough in part, but overall really good. And I'm really looking forward to next week and I hope you are too. Bye. It's also meant to be amazing for... <laughs> well, that's quite dramatic, isn't it? Shit. Oh my god, my, my tangibly tangibly worked overnight. I look very tanned. Actually, I really miss Linda. Oh god, sticky, sticky. Oh no. Well, I I'll see when I yawn, it looks like I'm crying. Nice, really flat then. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Did you like that? <laughs> oh, it smells like paint. Oh, I just blew it out. <laughs> look, how, look, you can literally see the light reflected in what shape it is on my forehead. Jeez Louise.